Well, hello again from Kingston. And as you can probably tell, it's another windy day, but it's the end of a very satisfying week. And in Canada, at least in Ontario, we're heading into the Victoria Day long weekend, often known as the 2-4 weekend. So I wish all the workers, their families, and everybody associated with the project the very happiest of holidays and a great long weekend. Thanks for watching. As we enjoy this long weekend, let's have a look at the state of the bridge in May 2022. The concrete deck has been laid on all three steel spans and almost nine of the 19 concrete spans. The tireless ferronier or iron workers of ABF regularly receive shipments of reinforcing rod. They are already working on spans 16 and 17. Their work demands a high level of skill, accuracy and precision. It is the very basis of the deck that will serve for years to come. There's considerable steady progress on the east end too. Tomlinson's team has been very busy clearing and preparing what will be the new library car park for asphalt. A great deal of fine gravel has been steadily delivered and then it's graded and compacted. The work goes on even on the wettest days like last Thursday. The gravel has also been used to finish sidewalks along the margins of Highway 15. With the mini excavator making regular shuttle runs back and forth, staff from Black and McDonald were also very active again this week continuing cabling and installation and playing their part in the removal of redundant objects from the scene. With major work on the east abutment complete, the team from Linkline Fence made a welcome return to complete the last section of the sound attenuating barrier that will run along Gore Road. With better weather now with us, this work should proceed quite quickly. On the other end of the bridge, there has been work on and around the west abutment, but overall, it's been a quieter week. Although at this end too, Black and MacDonald are busy installing conduit and preparing cable runs. With the Rideau Canal now open and the lift bridge raised, the boats are playing a greater role, including monitoring and managing the various environmental protection measures. In preparation for the week's major development, the LR1200 crane Nancy moved down the causeway on Tuesday afternoon. A move like this demands care, patience and considerable control. Arriving at span 11, her first task was to lift a large yellow box up onto span 9. Early next morning she would lift the first of many buckets full of concrete onto span 10. There, the now very experienced crew would receive them, grade them, vibrate them, creating the next layer of the roadway that is to come. A steady stream of ready-mix trucks and the use of two buckets meant that at times new buckets were arriving at intervals of less than six minutes. Results like this can only be achieved when a truly excellent team works together. The 
whole team will enjoy a well-earned rest this weekend, including Nancy, who boomed down on Friday. Before we go to wildlife this week, I want to draw attention to the fact that a great deal of effort goes into work that is unseen. I'm thinking of examples like this concrete finishing and all the considerable work that takes place underneath the spans, out of sight. Well, thanks again for being here and uh, following the updates. And I uh, wish you all the best for the week ahead. And I'll see you again next Sunday. And please don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really welcome your subscription. Bye for now.